Hi everybody, thanks for joining me here in the workshop again at Friendship Shaving. I've been working on the scales of my straight razor and uh, I'll talk a little bit about the process that I've been through. I've uh, had a piece of horn and what I did was laid my scales on the horn in the last video and drew around them. Uh, so I was ready to cut them out. What I noticed was that on my little template that I drew initially on paper, I've actually put this onto some card. The paper was, as was suggested by Sven, a little bit thin, so uh, it works much better on a piece of card. Uh, I just glued it on and cut around it. But I noticed on this piece I didn't have the points marked where I wanted the pivot to be and where I wanted the pins to go. So I've drawn around and cut out the original handle and kept it the same size while I've been working on my scales. Now uh, I cut out two pieces of horn and I used my Dremel and it was the perfect tool for this. Um, if you didn't have much money and you had a hacksaw available, uh, a hacksaw blade would have been a, a very good, uh, a good item to use. And probably would have afforded me, although it would have taken a little longer, would have afforded me uh, a bit more accuracy with the cutting. So what I used on a Dremel was this cutting wheel um, which went through the horn like a knife through butter, let me tell you. But it tended to work just in a straight line. Um, so there were lots of sort of little cuts. And then after it was cut I tried to use this grinder to grind away some of the material, some of the horn. That didn't work quite as well as I would have liked. But what I've got in the Dremel at the moment is just a 60 grit sanding wheel. And that works really, really well. Just to get as close as I can, you can see I've done quite well there, to get as close as I can to the template. And then what I've been using is just a piece of ordinary sandpaper. And this is 80 grit. Um, just to get that edge looking right and to make sure that it is, you know, flat on both sides. So what I've got here, this is quite neat. Let me just reach behind the camera for something. I've got my template stuck onto the first piece of horn and I've got that piece of horn stuck onto the second piece of horn and what I've been using is these blue tack glue dots they're they're brilliant to be honest um, they're just these little I don't know if you can see in the light there's a little dot in the middle and you just peel them off Put them on and peel the plastic off and then there and they are holding that together really really well and when I'm finished all I need to do is prise these apart and they when you rub them they just roll up and roll off the material so that is fantastic um, you can see perhaps there I've gone a bit a bit awry on the back you know, you can see that the edge of the scale, I'm right about there on this front piece of horn. But I cut a little bit short on the back end. Um, this end looks like it'll be okay. But that's fine, because what I'm going to do is, once I've gone all the way around everything, I'll decide where I want the pins and I'll be able to just 
trim off the end of the horn and uh, you know make it nice. I can't show you properly because it's the wrong way around. But so far with the scales it's all going very well. I'm going to keep them stuck together because that will allow me to soften these edges to a nice you know to get a nice roll on the edge there so it feels comfortable in the hand. I found this is really good. It's just a little bench clamp and quite simply it works just like that. Uh, normally I would use the little vice that I have the camera in at the moment but this nevertheless is quite handy. I'm just going to um, just going to get a mask a second and put that on because I am going to put on my Dremel and with this horn you really want to wear a mask. Um, the old scales from the razor turns out were cellulite. I thought they were horn initially but there's no mistake in horn. This really stinks and um, you definitely want to have a mask on when you're working with this. Um, so I'm just going to put one on and I'm going to start the Dremel just for five minutes and work a little bit on this end just so you can see what I'm doing. Now There we are, just to give you a little view of uh, how that works. Of course you know how it works, you're not daft, it's a Dremel with a sanding, sanding uh, piece in there. But I'm going to continue now and uh, 